Okay, so I'm going to do this uh, tag for my tag journal. I've cut it out of a graze box which had these like painted fruits and there's a lot of grapes and things on this side. And some text and I've glued a napkin over it. Um, so I just want to finish this on camera and I'm going to grab this stencil and this one, let's just use this one but quickly to cut that off and use this bit um, I'm going to use some gesso so let's just pop some out on we'll just do it on here and the drop sheet don't need this to be perfect, I'm just trying to build some interest in the background. pink from somewhere. <laughs> oh it's off the stencil in a minute, I've just seen it. Okay. Doesn't matter. That's why you should give your stencils a wipe after you've used them, I suppose. going to really be quite a soft, subtle little layer there. So I'm going to uh, give this a white. Now we will go in with the texture paste and this Tim Holtz stencil. Let's just get rid of some gunk on here. I do. Sort of covered up all that <laughs> stenciling I've just done, but never mind. bit more just up there just hopefully it's 
squish that down too much. <laughs> There we go. So I will let that dry. Give my stencil a wipe. And we will see where it takes us next. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some ground espresso. And. for the texture paste but it doesn't matter we can do it uh, let's get a bit of this one There we go. Lovely jubbly. Now, um, just off a little bit. There we go. Uh, let's grab this sponge and we'll do the edges as well. Maybe I should look at the words first and then find an image to match. Yes. That's a great idea. If I say so myself. Before I do that, I am just going to add that harsher line around the edge also. Just want it really framed in. Loving it now. So I'm going to grab my word stickers and yeah, I'll be back. Right. So had these rubbers for a while. I hope they still work because they're really nice. Really nice. Um, do it. Yeah. Now, oh, is this going to work because of the texture paste? I'm not sure. Now, let's see. Let me 
and see something a bit. Oh, no, I do have. I have. Oh. These sticks. Let's use one of these. design through now which means it's coming away slightly which is what we want obviously itchy nose sorry So uh, should have waited for the texture paste to cure probably. Yeah, that's okay. It's like say texture paste is sort of just pulled off onto the things here, which is not ideal. Should have waited for it to dry. But there we go. So let's pop her down. I need to grab my gel medium.
gonna pop the word dreamer. Up at the top. Let's have some ink on the edges to match it in. Ooh. And then be who you want to be. Just there. Um, hmm. Now then. Ah, la 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 la. Is that everything? Yeah, I think that's it. just lost a bit of the definition of the stamping where it's been blended so let me try just adding a few more there we go Should she have some sort of hat? <laughs> you know, the classic art journaling silly hat. Uh, no. 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 Um, splashes? No. Maybe. No. No, no. I'm going to leave it as it is. Um. Alright. So. Nice simple tag there. I love those Tim Holtz dolls. I think they just great, great vocal images, and the quotes from 13 Art, I think, I'm not sure, I'll cut the uh, tags off, but yeah, I love those, so thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed that very quick simple tag, um, put a date on it 21st is it yeah 21st uh, i think i'll write it on the back actually just because i'm not going to be able to see it anywhere else i couldn't maybe put it there but there we go that's where it's going so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you again soon bye bye